What is up, ladies and gentlemen? It's your boy, mk for life 9 and welcome to my classic old school RuneScape stories as we take a trip 15 years back to 2004 when I played this game as a little kid. So hop into the DeLorean with me and let the show begin. Disclaimer, this is not a tutorial. I repeat, this is not a tutorial. This is a story about a childhood experience I once had. If you don't know how to be Dragon Slayer by now, well, check out this awesome guide in the description down below. This guy is awesome. P.S. This video takes part in the present. It does not represent the story's timeline. In my previous video, I told you about my friends who tried to scam me, but failed. Well, they were back for round two. After our little incident, they decided they wanted to complete Dragon Slayer quest with me. So my 11 year old innocent self said, sure, why not? So I went to the Champions Guild, spoke to the Guild Master, went to the bank to stock up on supplies, and went on my grand adventure. For those of you who don't know, Old School RuneScape was tough back then. You didn't have an abundance of guides on YouTube or on the internet. Besides RS Wiki, you're on your own. And the ultimate endgame in free to play was being able to wear that full rune armor and look cool in front of your friends. And man, looking at Oziak wearing that rune plate body and treating me like a rookie before he sent me off to kill a goddamn dragon felt like a punch to my stomach. So after Oziak sent me off to kill one of the meanest free to play bosses in the game, we break down the news to the Guildmaster. Obviously, we're not going to look at the entire chat here, because that's not what the video is about. He sends us to go get a dragon fire shield. At this point, my friends told me to go get that shield from the Duke of Lundbridge and meet them at the maze. As soon as I got to the Duke, I had a trembling fear taking over me. After all, I was barely a level 40 at the time, and with full adamant and adamant two-handed sword, you can't even imagine yourself killing a lesser demon, let alone a dragon. Anyways, we got that shield and met my friends at the maze. So we made it to the maze. It's me, my friends, and a bunch of level 50s and 60s in there with us. A level 50 player approached me, telling me that I don't stand a chance and the lesser demon will kill me. You underestimate my power! Since I need to kill a lesser demon to get that last key. Of course, my friends never told me about any lesser demon, but they told me I have nothing to worry about. Anyways, we make our way through that annoying maze, killing rats, ghosts, skeletons, zombies, and whatnot, getting every single key with a different color. Man, they should call it the rainbow maze. So many goddamn colors for different keys and doors. We make it into that annoying magician Melzer, whose maze is named after, and he starts talking shit to us, all the while he spawns cabbages on the floor and keeps kicking and casting spells. After I kill Melzer, me and my friends make it to the lesser demon. That's where the real fun begins. Me and the demon are having a grueling battle. I hit him with consistent 5s and 2s while he hits me with 6s and 7s across the board. Suddenly, the demon starts slowing down, hitting me with 2s and 0s non-stop. It's a neck and neck, real close fight. I have 7 hit points left and so does the demon. I asked my friends to help me, but they told me I should handle it on my own. Anyways, I hit the demon with a 5 and a 2 while he hits me with 2 zeros, and he goes down. My friends can't believe it. They thought I was actually going to die. As a matter of fact, that was their plan. They wanted me to die so they can take my inventory and make fun of me again. Joke's on you, suckers. We get the final piece of the map and we continue with our journey. So after a long quest, here we are, ready to go. We're boarding the ship with our supply of food, equipment, and a heart of courage, and we get on our way. This is where I made a foolish mistake. Back then, I loved two-handed swords. At this point of the quest, I could already wear rune weapons. Problem is, you can't wear two-handed swords with a shield, and unless you feel like getting one shot killed by Elvarg the dragon, who hits up to 65 if you don't wear the dragon fire shield, you need to wear that shield. The only one-handed weapon I had at the time was a rune pickaxe. A rune pickaxe! Pickaxes are meant for mining, not fighting, obviously. With that in mind, we enter the dragon's lair. Man, that dragon is scary. I mean, look at all this blood and skeletons. 
Who in their right mind would try to kill that dragon with a rune pickaxe? Well, that guy was me. You're probably expecting a huge surprise hearing that I kicked the dragon's ass with a pickaxe. Nope, never happened. So at this point I asked my friends for help. This is the point where they're supposed to be my friends and help my lousy level 40 plus to kill that dragon, right? <laughs> well, that's not even close to being the case. They told me to go fuck myself and that should handle my own shit. So I'm level 40 with adamant armor and a rune pickaxe all by myself. That dragon just won't die, no matter how many times I tried. I thought that was it. Game over. And out of nowhere, they showed. The heroes without a cape. The Adonis to any Aphrodite. The Hercules of the people. The people's champ. Our heroes without a cape. They were a bunch of level 80s just doing their thing killing demons. They saw me and asked, What's the matter, kid? I told them that I don't have a sword and any food to kill Elvarg and I need some help. Say no more. The heroes went to fish and cook swordfishes and lobsters for me, while one of them loaned me his rune scimitar. Now if you watch this today, that's not too big of a deal, but 15 years ago, it was almost unheard of. They told me to put on aggressive slash and get in there. So we're there, fighting that dragon. The heroes are cheering me on. You can do it! Kick its ass! You can do it! Cut his fucking head off! The toughest fight I ever had. After about 7 to 10 minutes fighting that damn dragon, we did it. We killed the dragon. I took his head off out of his body, got out, gave them back their sword, and thanked them from the bottom of my heart. I don't remember their names, and they didn't add me. But guys, if you're out there watching this video, I just want to let you know you guys are awesome. And I hope you're living a good, fulfilling lives. You made my experience as a roomscaper easier. And for that, I thank you. We make it back to Oziac. By this point, I tell my friends about this story and they just can't believe it. They never thought I would make it there. But here we are, the end game for free to play. Full rune armor. Needless to say, I didn't trust any of them at the time. We stay friends of course, but our old school runescape journey would end there. What can I say guys? Sometimes strangers can help better than friends. I know some of you guys are probably cringing at this video thinking that I'm a crybaby noob, but guess what? I made it. I completed the quest with the aid of our heroes. Honestly, I spend time watching different old school runescape groups today and mostly I see guys that are toxic towards one another. We need more heroes in our community. Together we are strong. Never give up, no matter what. So now, back to the present. I'm all happy as I get to wear my full rune gold trim set. I hope you enjoyed watching this video half as much as I enjoyed making it for you. Here are a couple of dance moves by my character, expressing his happiness and joy, followed up by a salute to you fans. I'm MK for Life 9. I hope you enjoyed. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and share this video with as always. Keep grinding.